Well, hello again. Tonight, we have a treat for science fiction fans that should also please the more open-minded Shakespeareans among you, for the latest in our season of classics is Forbidden Planet, which is generally recognised as the most enjoyable and in many ways the most inventive of the spate of science fiction movies that came out of the 1950s. Well, very possibly, you may be saying. But what's that got to do with Shakespeare? I will tell you. The plot of Forbidden Planet is a dead steal from the plot of The Tempest, with Prospero becoming Dr Morbius, alias Walter Pigeon, and Miranda being transformed into Altera, or Anne Francis. Prospero's island becomes a remote planet, a land of green sky, pink sand and two moons, and perhaps best of all, the spirit of Ariel is depicted as Robbie the Robot, a character that can be seen as a forerunner of that other memorable robot, Hal, in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Forbidden Planet was made in 1956, and as a matter of curiosity was the first science fiction movie to come out of MGM. Originally, it was going to be called Fatal Planet, but everyone thought that was a bit off-putting. Still, the title having been sorted out, the production was given the kind of careful attention to detail for which MGM in its heyday was justly famous. For instance, not one, but three model starships were constructed, ranging in size from 72 inches to 48 inches and 20 inches. But Robbie, who looks like a seven-foot-tall pot-bellied stove, was undoubtedly the pièce de résistance. When the film opened, he became a star in his own right and appeared for years in various TV series, no doubt swanking and throwing his weight about in the manner of all overnight stars. Two other points before I let you watch the film. First, notice the very early use of electronic music. And secondly, the film was directed by Fred M. Wilcox, who was notable otherwise only for Lassie Come Home and rose above all his known form to make Forbidden Planet.